Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we have wired up our Profi board and soldered it up. And it looks like kind of a mess right now, but once we test everything, we'll make sure everything looks nice and neat. We've got a switch assembly. We're gonna install the switch assembly and we're gonna see if this thing works. So let's give this a shot. So the switch assembly goes in there. Let's turn on the main power, see if we get sound. We do. Now let's see if the switches work. Auxiliary switch works. And we have lights. Right there. We have light in our crystal chamber. Crazy. It's very loud. You can see that thing just vibrating up a storm in there. Look at that. Woo! That's really cool. All right, so let's, uh, let's turn it off. There's some more things we need to do. What we need to do is we need to secure the header pins. Uh, they're currently not glued in and I don't really like to glue them in um, onto the chassis until everything is tested. Um, but everything seems to work. We've got sound, we've got auxiliary. Got red. Look at that crystal chamber. That's kind of cool. Escape is not his plan. I must face him alone. That one's acting a little wonky. Let's switch that up. You can see those crystal chambers really light up. purple. The other side with the fin section. You can really see that speaker moving in there. Holy moly. Never really noticed that before. Let's see the, uh, the rainbow there.
Ooh, strobe light. Sorry. Apologize. That one doesn't seem to work very well. That Ahsoka one. We're going to have to look at that. I think that's a battery, low battery one. I think what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the profi board to take that one out. Um, nothing really shows up on that one. There's the original Graflex. This is probably the one that we'll use. See that crystal? It lights up pretty good. I've had better, I've had worse, but not bad. Good part about this is it's easy enough to replace. We could probably, if we wanted to do a better one, we could replace it. But overall, it's pretty good. And back to the Ahsoka one. Right, right enough. go so anyway there there you have it we have a complete working lightsaber now so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of get all these wires nice and neat back here we're gonna make them all fit a little bit better we might end up um, just uh, cutting the wires back a little bit what I wanted just to make sure is we just get the basic uh, lightsaber working we still have to install the rods um, and then once that's done I've got to glue this these header pins on the chassis in place right now they're free to kind of roam and do what they want again like i said i don't glue those in place until i'm absolutely done because you know you might break a wire or something so you want to definitely make sure that um uh you don't glue those down until you're absolutely done because once they're in they're in um but uh overall came out pretty good everything seems to work great the only thing i haven't tested yet is whether these header pins will match up with the emitter header pins. Um, but we'll get to that. That's down the road here. Let's just get everything kind of straightened out and nice and neat in here and we'll get our rods in place, get our wiring, and then we'll get our covers on. on so you, you won't see any of this wiring. Um, we'll take out that last Ahsoka um, uh, sound font because I think that's low, low battery anyway. We'll just take that sucker out uh, completely out of the config. Uh, but other than that, She's a working. So uh, my next video, I think what we'll probably do is kind of show you where we're at um, as far as getting the um, uh, the rods in place and the covers in place. Um, and then after that, we'll get it all together and we'll should be close to being done. So this has been really quite fun. Uh, it's been really, really fun. We've made some really great progress and quite frankly, we got a working lightsaber, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.